Good morning. I am Theodore Roosevelt. The attic of the White House contained many old chests and trunks, as well as furniture which was covered in slip covers. One day, I paused to rest after some strenuous and enthusiastic racing through the attic after the White House gang, and I sat down upon one of the relics of bygone White House grandeur. The surprising thing to me was that the chair utterly collapsed with me with shrieks of high anguish. There had been no chair under the slipcover at all, but simply two of the White House gang. Edward Stead had stood upright, holding the back of the cloth with his hands, and Dick Chu had sat on the floor as the seat. Dick had both feet outstretched to hold the lower four corners, his arms and hands supporting what looked to me like the outline of a comfortable chair. Edward and Dick howled under my weight as I sat down, and I threw myself back in complete relaxation. By George, I said, the instant I struck the floor. That shows how unstable are the seats of those who consider themselves the mighty. I scrambled to my feet, clutched at the squirming slipcover, shouting to the rest of the gang, a chest, a chest, open a chest. When these ghostly covers begin to move about by themselves, it is time to imprison them in a chest. So the cover, with the two boys inside it, was unceremoniously bundled into a chest. The lid was opened again, however, before the presidential time limit of 60 seconds had elapsed. 